I'm going to share one thing with you from the story of the young men of the cave. These young men have no resources, they have no education, they have no Islamic education, they don't even have a messenger with them. Nothing. They don't have exhaustive knowledge. And they are now in a very bad place. They are inside a cave. A cave is not a comfortable place. A cave is not a comfortable place. Especially out in the wilderness, there's danger of animals, snakes, predators, whatever else. They're inside that cave, and you know they went to, Allah put them to sleep, yeah? There's, the way Allah speaks is important to note. Allah could have said, they remained in the shade. They remained in the shade. What that would mean, everybody would understand, even if the sun came up or sun came down, that they were still in such an angle that the sunbeams never hit them. And the easy way to say it, khayrul kalami ma qalla wa dalla, is, you know, they remained in the dhil. They remained in the shade. But Allah doesn't say that. He says, وَتَرَى الشَّمْسَ إِذَا طَلَعَتْ تَزَاوَرُ عَنْ كَحْفِهِمْ ذَاتَ الْيَمِينَ وَإِذَا غَرَبَتْ تَقْرِضُهُمْ ذَاتَ الشِّمَالِ وَهُمْ فِي فَجْوَةٍ مِّنْهُ كَلَامٌ طَوِيلٌ Allah elaborates. You will see the sun as it comes up. It deviates just around them to the right. And when it comes up, when it's setting down, it cuts across them. It doesn't hit them. It lends them a favor to the left. While they are in a wide open space right in between. Why did Allah depict this this way? Because the language is making it very clear. The sun was supposed to hit them very directly. But Allah Azza wa Jal, instead of describing them in the shade, Allah described Allah moved the rays of the sun around them so they could stay comfy. And the sun would come up and the sun would go down. When people pursue Allah, when people pursue only impact in the akhirah, then Allah will make the sun, the sun submit to the service of people that are asleep. They're sleeping and Allah is serving them. The world around you will come at your service. There are people that are running after the world. But when you come to the service of Allah and you truly pursue impact inspired by the word of Allah, let me tell you something. The world, the sun, the moon, the earth, the skies, the seas, they will be at your service. Allah will submit all of this creation for you. خَلَقَ لَكُمْ مَا فِي الْأَرْضِ جَمِيعًا In its true meaning. These people had no money, no resources, and look at what Allah will do for them. And if Allah can do that for youth then, who were not prophets, who were not sahaba, who were not knowledgeable in revelation, they didn't have any of that. that you know what that means? They are no different from the youth today. There's a reason the Prophet told us وسلم, to recite Surah Al-Kahf when times get tough. There's a reason to remind ourselves of a time when there will be young people who will say we have absolutely no resources, nobody's coming to our aid, we don't know how to make any impact, and yet Allah will give them, He'll give them aid from where they couldn't even imagine. He'll provide from where you can't even imagine. This is the generation that will relive the legacy of the young people of the cave. You are the people. This is what we have to rise to, to, to young people. You guys, your lives need to mean a lot more than just the next movie that's coming out. Every tweet, every Facebook post, every Snapchat about one frivolous thing or the next, I'm not gonna tell you it's haram. I'm just gonna tell you your life means a lot more than that stuff. I'm not here to give you a fatwa. Your life is so much bigger. It's so much bigger, man. You got big things to do. Learn to think big. Learn to think Allah has given you the honor. So many people in the world that don't have La ilaha illallah. You do. Allah says, This is the last thing. I'm still going to be ahead of time. I promise. Watch. He is the one who selected you. The word in Arabic is ijtiba, which is different from istifa and ikhtiyar. There are different words in Arabic for choice. The word ijtiba from Jabu actually comes when you make a selection based on a particular quality. In other words, you have been selected to become people of La ilaha illallah because Allah sees something in you that qualifies you for His pursuit. That He did not see in other people. He honored you with that. You're not Muslim because your parents are Muslim. You're not Muslim because you happen to be Muslim. You're Muslim because Allah sees something in you. You don't even see it in yourself yet. It's time you start seeing it in yourself. It's, start, it's time you start expecting more from yourself. La yukallifu Allahu nafsan illa wasaha. The second meaning of that ayah is Allah did not burden anyone except with their own potential. Learn to exhaust your own potential. 
Recognize what you're capable of. Don't sell yourself short. This ummah is not about mediocrity. It is about pushing the boundaries of what more and more and more we can pursue. May Allah Azza wa Jal make this the generation of impact that makes my generation and the previous generations jealous of what you were able to accomplish. I still have five seconds. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.